Yo. Uh, so, Al here from All Solo, and uh, welcome to my latest getaway to Dartmoor. Uh, so, it is a Friday, the 27th of August 2021, uh, just before 2 pm, and uh, yeah, come up for another solo world camp. Uh, so I'm at my kind of usual parking spot and so basically for this trip I considered going to Great Links again but I went there last time simply because the weather was a bit rubbish last time um, and Rob suggested a different way to go which would be a bit longer but much less of a killer so I wanted to give that a go but it ain't going anywhere. Um, I wanted to go somewhere different again and I say different uh, I'm planning to go up to High Wilhays, do a camp up in there tonight. The highest point in the southwest of England, certainly the highest point in Dartmoor. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna just gonna take a walk up there. Never been there or camped there. Um, Rob said it can be a bit sort of spongy up there, not boggy as such. But so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and see what it's like. And as a contingency, I've always got Yes Tour, which is a short walk away. I've uh, obviously been to Yes Tour quite a few times in the past, but to be honest, I haven't been there recently. So, but yeah, so we're gonna go and go and check out High Wheel Hayes. If I can find a decent spot there, then that's where I'll pitch. Uh, if it's rubbish, then I'll um, enjoy the moment of being there, um, as I have never before, like I say. And I'll just, uh, Pop across, it's a five, 10 minute walk across the S tour and I'll pitch picture for the night. Um, weather's pretty good, as you can see, a little bit of cloud. I think it's gonna improve even through the night and it's pretty still up here at the moment. Quite often I'll get out of the car and it's howling, but yeah, there's minimal wind at the moment. Uh, might mean the bug problem's a little bit more than usual, but hey, hey that's what inner flies are for. So yeah, let's get, let's get the pack on and let's get up the hill. Yo, <laughs> so about ten past two. Uh, I just turned off the main track, the main track over here. So this is the this is the fork that takes me off up towards Yes Tour. Uh, yeah, nice to be out. See smell over there, unusual. Uh, my my go-to, <laughs> but not today. Uh, yeah, like I say, it's nice to be out. And it's nice to have some decent weather for a change. Obviously having decent weather comes with its own challenges, but I've talked about in previous videos, just around keeping um, hydrated and keeping cool, etc. So, yeah. So this is another uphill bit. I won't talk for long, otherwise I'll be huffing and panting at you, which is never pleasant. Uh, 6 10, 
25 past two on day one. I'm um, approaching Yes Tour, which is there. Meep, meep, meep. And I will haze. Meep, meep, meep. Uh, so I'm half up the hill here on the track. Um, so just over the brow there, it, the path ends and you basically turn right to go to Yes Tour or left to go to High Wheelways. Uh, obviously I'm going to be turning left. Quite a few people up on High Wheel Haze. They're probably just people visiting for the day. Whew. Blimey, it's warm. Uh, but we, yeah, we shall see. Go up to High Wheel Haze, see what we find. Uh, I'm probably not going to pitch right away anyway, it's a bit early in the day really. Um, but yeah, got super fine. I expect um, this video will be on the approach to High Wheel Haze. off at that point probably the second highest point <laughs> there were people at the highest point so uh, on the way back I shall stop there so I can say I have and maybe capture that moment on film um, I don't know how if this sounds any different but um, I picked myself up a, a microphone just uh, on the uh, little lightning uh, connection on it to go into my phone uh, hoping it'll make a difference with the wind noise obviously got the little foam uh, piece on it to stop the wind. Um, I've not clipped it to me, I've actually clipped it just on the side of the phone at the moment because I'm holding it pretty close to me. So we'll see how it sounds, see how it sounds indifferent and whether you can still hear the wind. A lesson to be learned from looking where you're going because um, on Dartmoor if you're faffing around with your phone and trying to set up a video and walking at the same time you might lose your foot down a hole funny enough that's what just happened to me so here I am at and I think I was pronouncing it wrong, Fordsland Ledge. Uh, quite spectacular really. Massive valley cut into the uh, landscape. We've got a river flowing through the middle there. But probably doesn't do it justice on here. But I mean, the view across there is just amazing. So um, it's quarter past three. Uh, back at High Wheel Haze, that's the highest point up there, which I'm going to go up to in a minute. Um, I don't know if you can see it because I've put it in the most concealed place that I could possibly find, but I got myself a new microphone. I uh, thought, you know, with, with all this wind up here, uh, I've been talking for well over a year about getting a microphone, so yeah, I picked myself one up. Um, 100% sure this is the best place to have it clipped, really, but, <laughs> sorry, uh, just me being a prat. Right, anyway, um, so, yeah, I'm going to pop up to the highest point, see you up there. Right, so here we are, highest point on Dartmoor, I believe the highest point in the southwest of England, or south of England, I don't know, but, I'll do a, a proper 360 in a minute, show you the views, but up here is this little structure. Now I'm assuming this has been done to elevate it from 600 
620, 619 meters to 621. Uh, that's uh, meters above sea level. Um, because I can't think otherwise why that would be there. It's all about having the biggest one, isn't it? Yo, it's, uh, it's 25 past three. Uh, this was the kind of um, last chance saloon to camp on or below High Wall Haze. This little area here. Uh, there is a, an area here I could have pitched, but it's not great. Um, I think I'm gonna head back over to Yes. I've done High Wall Haze, I've been to the highest point no point camping somewhere that it's not going to be uh, not going to be fun so yeah i think head back over to yes tour see if my usual spot's free and uh and all sheltered from the wind and i'll go from there so see you in about five ten minutes ah so here we are um at yes tour at my usual spot there we are, that's the usual spot. I'm not 100% sure where I'm going to pitch here yet because um, because uh, the wind is coming from that way. Leaves this area very exposed. Um, we'll have a look and see if there's anything over the other side. The winds are supposed to be getting up to about 30 miles an hour tonight, so yeah, we'll see. But um, yeah, here on the on the container, we have proof that Neanderthals walk among us, and that they can use primitive tools to make um, cave paintings. <coughs> the bit at the top, that's a matter of opinion. I'm not going to go into that. But look at all this and that. It's that kind of bullshit that gets people killed. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave and pack here for a sec, and I'm gonna just pop over the other side and see if there's anywhere uh, it's a bit more shelter for me to pitch, and I'll um, see what I can find. So I'm pitched. That's my pitch for the night. Uh, came over here, and, and it's, it's so still here that you wouldn't even know there's any sort of gusts going on over the other side. So yeah, I've. Abandoned my usual spot and this is where I am, but the view is still pretty darn spectacular So yeah, this is where I am uh, It's kind of up the hill The tent is down there I don't know if you watched my video where I met uh, John Johnny from John Outdoors Shout out and Jay from Wondering Jay shout out um, Up here in this very spot and uh, that was the night we went down to camp by Rotor. Uh, yeah, this was the spot where I, I waited. Um, on that day, I had to kill quite a few hours to wait and meet the guys. I ended up watching almost the entire first series of Cobra Kai. <laughs> so I just thought, eh, let's watch something new. But anyway, uh, yeah, so this is it. This is my little uh, perch for the minute. Uh, I can sit here. The sun's going to set somewhere over there. So I can sit and watch the sunset. And, as I always say, chill. Hello. So uh, on this on this camp so far, I've been um, messing around with my new microphone. I've just listened back to the footage that I took using it earlier on. And um, to be honest, it didn't cope with the wind very well. Probably worse than when I don't use it. Uh, but then it was it was clipped onto the onto the phone uh, rather than being kind of clipped onto me anywhere. So uh, it's not particularly windy around here, obviously. Um, but what I've done is I've clipped I've got it clipped under here at the moment. Um, so where is it? Here it is. So I want to kind of see what it's like when 
I'm talking with it kind of clipped under my shirt. So I'll listen back to this. Uh, testing, testing, one, two, three. Um, and see how it sounds. It may be that uh, that's kind of what, what I'm gonna have to do in the future. Um, it may be that, you know, for a, a 12 pound microphone, it's not gonna, not gonna cut it for up here. I might have to get something else. We can get those things at the moment I've got. In fact, I'll show you it. So yeah, I've got, probably gonna be really loud now. I've got uh, one of these on it. I don't know what the technical term for that is, but you can get ones I know that are a lot more fluffy and that would probably stop even more of the wind. I mean, it should be better than just having my, my phone microphone exposed to the wind, but it, it didn't sound great. Um, for now, when I'm here, I'm probably just gonna keep using the microphone on the on the phone because this has got, got mainly for when it's windy. Uh, and. It, here it isn't particularly so yeah let's see how this came out so yeah um i said on this trip i was going to do some shout outs to some um some channels some of the, the guys who regularly comment on my videos and maybe don't get the recognition they deserve um i did talk about uh, i'm going to mention three i talked about um one when i was over on high wheel haze but the um yeah the microphone situation wasn't great so uh the first two are called john so the first one um i'm gonna talk about is wessex hiking um and that's run by a guy called john um john's got a decent decent channel there um he hikes he camps and he's a knowledgeable chap he uh, he talks about the kind of history and geography of uh, of Dartmoor whilst he's whilst he's doing his trips. So it's informative as well as entertaining. Um, yeah. So yeah, John's got a decent channel there, uh, and like I say, he's kind enough to watch my videos and comment on mine regularly. So I thought John deserves a shout out. So. I'll put John's uh, a, a link to John's channel in the description, but uh, yeah, John, Wessex it's hiking. Uh, second channel I want to mention is yeah another guy called John, and um, that's uh, John from the Camping Astronomer, and the Camping Astronomer is kind of exactly what it says on the tin really. John is a camper, a hiker, and an astronomer, and uh, I. I used to consider myself an amateur astronomer. I don't think I can at the moment because I don't actually own a telescope. That's simply because I sold mine because I didn't have room for it in the house. Uh, I still love looking up and I will get myself a, a telescope again at some point. But at the moment, I, with life and work and stuff, I just don't have time. But John's channels are still very cool. Um, he reviews kit, uh, that's camping and astronomy kit. Uh, just a really nice guy and again he takes time to comment on my videos so um here is a shout out for john um john's got a cool a cool channel there so yeah shout out to you john and um the third one um now the, the, this guy then just sort of started commenting on my videos so i sort of discovered him through that and i've subscribed to his channel um nordic um hikes and trails I'm sorry if I've got that wrong. Um, I think it's Nordic Hikes and Trails. I'll, I'll put the link in the in the description anyway to his channel. Uh, but yeah, this guy lives in Norway. I don't know his name actually. Um, doesn't talk much on the videos, but lives in Norway and goes out walking in Norway. And it's a beautiful country. Uh, so you get some amazing views on there. So definitely, definitely worth checking that one out. Uh, I will put links to all these channels in the description. Uh, I'm not going to spend ages talking about this but i just think these guys deserve a shout out um just like anybody else so yeah check those channels out i'll pop them in the description so that's what we're looking like at the moment it's just before 7 p.m uh i've got my got my burger here to eat uh just sat down but yeah, quite a view. You can see the Meldon Reservoir there in the distance. 
sun shining on the water. Hello. <clears throat> Sorry about the uh, the hat down look, but I've got the sun right in my eyes. So yeah, if I do that, can't see anything. Right. So it's, uh, oh God, I don't know what the time is. It's quarter past seven. And I've eaten. However, tea was a bit of a disaster. <laughs> so uh, basically before I came, um, I was at the point where I've got, I had like three of those gas canisters that had a bit of gas in them. Uh, I went out earlier on, I couldn't find one. I, I didn't really have time to go down, all the way down to go outdoors because it's on the other side of town. I was getting low on time. So I thought, well, what the hell, I'll, I'll, I'll take the risk. I'll bring all three canisters with me. And between them, I'm sure they'll have enough in them for me to do tea and for me to do breakfast. So I put the first one on. Doesn't even cook quarter of the first burger. Changed it. Put the next one on. Probably about half cooked the first burger and I had to take it back off. Put the last one on, which is the most recent one I bought. Uh... And just about managed to cook the two burgers I bought, but by the time I'd finished cooking them, it's pretty much out. So breakfast is a, is a no-go. So what I'm gonna have to do is just pack down, take back what I've bought and do myself a fry up when I get home. But yeah, it's just a bit of a pain uh, to make sure that next time I pick up a new can of gas. At the moment, um, I'm about to open my um, special beer. Now, I was in Sainsbury with Tara, my lovely wife Tara, earlier on, and um, oh, and other supermarkets are available. <laughs> but um, yeah, and I saw this one. It's uh, a rainbow sherbet sour. I don't know. It's a, it's a beer anyway. I'm not sure if it's an IPA or, it's, or what, but it's. Um, yeah, it's got, uh, it's four and a half percent, so it's not particularly strong, but it looks pretty cool. Tara saw it and said, ooh, I want to try that. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I can't open it while I'm holding my phone, so I'm going to pop my phone down to open it, and then uh, I'll see you in a sec. So, it's open. Bottoms up. I think weird is the only way I would use to describe that. I suppose it's I suppose it is sour, but I certainly can't really taste any rainbow sherbet in it. But yeah, that's all right. So I'm going to sit and drink this. Um, not going to have much light left. Plan was to sit out and look at some stars, but if this cloud carries on, that's not going to be happening. So I guess it'll be uh, retire to the tent and have a look out the uh probably keep the outer fly open just at least to start with so I can keep an eye but yeah might just be a case of yeah step me head out look at some stars later on so from up here on yes tour one of the downsides to being over this side i can see that's the services not sure which ones that is, but that's Sorton, Sauton, whatever it's called. But yeah, I can see that from here. So I assume that is the A30. I can see going all the way along there and up here. Um, trying to focus down there, but look at the traffic. It must be about nine o'clock. And The traffic is like purring along. So it's the bank holiday weekend. That is what the traffic is like on this uh, Friday evening. 
I'm glad I'm up here and not down there. My only concern would be about uh, getting home tomorrow, but cross that bridge when we come to it. Good morning. Uh, so it's um, 20 to 9 on day two, going home day. And um, I've been up for a little while, but to the extent you can see the sun's only just starting to hit it on the top. I, I wanted to wait a little while for the sun, which is there, to basically to dry the tent off before I packed it down. But can't see that happening somehow, so it's probably going to have to be pack it down wet and take it home and hang it out like I usually have to. Uh, yeah, as well as I'm going to be here all day waiting for that to dry. So yeah, as you can see, the sun's coming over the top of the tour. I'm on the west side, so obviously the um, sun's risen on the opposite side. Uh, as discussed last night, I haven't been able to have cooked breakfast because I ran out of gas. And... Uh, that means that I've had a um, packet of crisps and a Snickers <laughs> just to give me a bit of energy for the walk. Uh, so, yeah, that's, that's kind of it, really. I, I didn't really want to head home so early, but it's often often the case when you're camping, like you wake up in the morning, you just want to get packed down and, and get gone. Uh, there's already people here, so as it starts to busy up. It's, it um, starts to become a little less relaxing. So. So yeah, not going to be much on this morning section of this video. Uh, just really uh, my LNT video in a minute, and and then um, probably some footage on the way back to the car. So yeah, good morning from Yes Tour, and I'll speak to you in a bit. So I'm all packed down. That's where the tent was. Left no trace as always. Pack ready to go. So uh, yeah, it's been a good one. Been um, quite a chilled camp, really. I'm glad I decided not to stay over that side and came over here. This is a nice spot, actually. So I'd forgotten how much I like Yes Tour, and I've been kind of going to East Mill a lot. Yes Tour always used to be my go-to tour. Uh, the views are epic from either, uh, but it, you know, means I've got more options. But, um, yeah, now I've got a spot over that side and a spot over this side. Then, um, you know, whichever way the wind's going, it means I've got somewhere I can pitch. So, so that's cool to know going forward. Uh, so, yeah, like I say, it's all, all packed down. Just going to get the pack on, get down the hills and hope that the traffic's not too bad on the A30. So, yeah, I don't know if I'll talk again on this video. So if I don't, if you made it this far, thanks for watching and as always, cue the music.